Amoebic liver abscess is a condition caused by the involvement of the liver by the parasite Entamoeba histolytica. It is almost always a complication of amoebic dysentery. This can occur in the acute stage or in the chronic carrier stage. Pathogenesis of amoebic liver abscess. The trophozoites of E. histolytica, originating from an amoebic ulcer in the large intestine, are carried through the portal vein and reach the liver. The capillary system of the liver acts as a filter, trapping these parasites, where they multiply and cause coagulation necrosis and abscess formation. Typically, the abscess is single and localized in the postero superior aspect of the right lobe of the liver due to the blood flow pattern in the portal vein. Once in the liver, the parasites release cytolytic enzymes, leading to destruction of hepatocytes and liquefaction necrosis. They also cause a septic thrombosis of blood vessels, resulting in further liver tissue necrosis. Additionally, breakdown of red blood cells, RBCs, occurs, contributing to the formation of anchovy sauce, pus, characterized by its chocolate brown color which is a mixture of broken down RBCs, hepatocytes, and other components. In some patients, pus may be mixed with bile, resulting in green pus. While the majority of cases present with sterile pus, about 20 to 30% of cases may experience secondary infection. Amoebae are rarely found in the pus itself but can be present in the abscess cavity wall. Clinical manifestations include the onset of symptoms is often insidious and includes fever, sweats, weight loss, chills, and rigors. Some patients may have an acute onset of fever. Pain in the right hypochondrium may occur due to stretching of the liver capsule. Diaphragmatic irritation can lead to referred pain in the right shoulder. Clinical examination may reveal liver enlargement and tenderness, upward extension of liver dullness on percussion, point tenderness in the posterolateral portion of a lower right intercostal space, intercostal tenderness. Complications Spontaneous external rupture can result in granuloma cutis. Direct extension into the lung may cause amoebic lung abscess. Abscess rupture into a bronchus leads to expectoration of large amounts of anchovy sauce, pus. Rupture into the pleural space can result in massive pleural effusion. Rupture into the pericardium may cause pericarditis and, rarely, cardiac tamponade. Rupture into the peritoneal cavity can lead to peritonitis. Investigations include Polymorphonuclear leukocytosis is a characteristic feature. Liver function tests may show abnormalities, with elevated alkaline phosphatase being the most consistent finding. The level of SGOT reflects the severity of the disease, and jaundice is uncommon but indicates a grave prognosis if present. Chest radiograph typically shows a raised dome of the diaphragm on the right side, along with right-sided pleural effusion and right basal pneumonitis. Ultrasound scanning is useful for diagnosis and localization of the abscess. Serologic tests, amoebic serology, are positive in over 90% of patients. Aspiration of the abscess yields characteristic anchovy sauce or chocolate pus, which consists of liquefied necrotic liver tissue. The pus does not contain polymorphonuclear leukocytes. Parasites may be demonstrated in the wall of the abscess cavity or by needle biopsy of the cyst wall. Management Treatment involves the use of metronidazole, a tissue amoebicide, given at double strength for two to three weeks. If the patient responds to metronidazole, it is stopped after three weeks, and a 10-day course of diloxonide furote, a luminal amoebicide, is given. Chloroquine can be used as an alternative treatment if the patient does not respond to metronidazole. Lastly, indications for performing ultrasound-guided drainage of pus include Lack of response to medical treatment Abscess size larger than 5 cm Left lobe involvement Impending rupture Pregnant patients And secondary infection
Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. See you in the next video.